Hi guys, welcome to RPA Stuff. In today's video we will learn email automation package in Automation Anywhere A360. The email package contains actions to automate email-related tasks through Exchange Web Services, Microsoft Outlook, and other email servers. You can use these actions for sending, receiving, and modifying messages, folders, and the status of messages. The email package supports EWS, POP3, SMTP, and IMAP protocols. It enables you to Manage and organize email messages and folders. Download attachments from emails to specific folders on devices. Extract data from emails to variables, to use as extracted data in other applications. Now let us create a taskbot to learn email automation. Look for email package in action pane, you will find multiple actions under it. If you hover your mouse pointer over each actions you will find that some actions can only be used inside loops. For example, delete action should be specifically used inside a loop whereas delete all action is used outside loop. Every email action should be between connect and disconnect session command. Drag connect action, there are various options to connect to email. If you are using Outlook, Automation Anywhere directly connects with it or you can connect using email server or EWS details. I will be using email server for connection and will be connecting to MSN Outlook. For email server connection, you need hostname and port number of your email provider for specific protocol you are going to use. You can find it easily through normal Google search for your email provider. In this demo, I will be using IMAP protocol. Copy your email provider host name and port number details and paste it in respective section of email connect properties. It's recommended to use Credential Vault to store username and password instead of providing insecure string or normal variable. If you want to learn how to use Credential Vault, I will leave card for my video on Credential Vault you can refer that. Since the email provider has specified encryption, I will check SSL slash TSL checkbox and leave protocol type as IMAP. Now let's drag a disconnect action and add loop command and specify iterator as for each mail and mailbox between connect and disconnect. Loop action provides various filters to get mails from mailbox. We can get all mails, or we can choose to get read slash unread mails only. Filter also allows to read mails from specific folder, and we can read mails from a specific sender. We can also look for mails with keywords in their subject line and can filter according to date range. You can also choose in which format the message has to be read. Plain text or in HTML format. To store the output of the command, we need a dictionary variable. I will name it as email data. The email properties are stored in a dictionary variable within different dictionary key. Please refer the table shown to learn various keys holding respective email properties. Now let us take a message box to print email subject and email message. I have few sample mails in my mailbox. Let's run the bot and see the results. As you can see our bot ran successfully, it even read an automated mail which I was not aware of present in other section.
you can see the mails which were unread are marked as read in mailbox. For demo purpose I have a mail with two attachments and a mail with single attachment. Let us learn how to download those attachments. In email package there are two actions which we can use to download attachments. Save attachment is used inside a loop to download the attachments of mail opened in loop iteration. Whereas save all attachments is used outside loop to download all attachments. Let us see them one by one. Drag and drop save attachment inside loop. Specify the folder location you want to save the attachments in. Save and run the bot. As you can see our bot ran successfully and has downloaded all attachments in specified folder. Now to test save all attachments action, let us mark the mails with attachment unread. Drag and drop the save all attachments command outside the loop, let us disable the loop. In actions properties, type of mail we will specify as unread, and we will add the folder path to save attachments. Save and run the bot. By the time bot runs, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Share it with your friends. As you can see our bot ran successfully and has downloaded all attachments in specified folder. Suppose we have a requirement which states we have to download attachments from mails which contains RPA keyword and subject, and we have to keep the mail status unread. To do this we will add change status action inside the loop and select unread in action properties. Enable the loop and disable the save all attachment action. In loop properties, add RPA in when subject contains section. Save the bot and run it. As you can see our bot ran successfully and has kept the mail status as unread. That's it for today guys, in next video we will see how to send email in Automation Anywhere A360. Please like and share this video. Subscribe to the channel.